looking at Andy Ruiz right there, who Rich will talk about in a minute. It's quite a different physique than when we first saw him coming out as a heavyweight. He's going to be taking on Ken Frank, a journeyman from Canada, who comes in here trying to uh, do the nearly impossible against a young up-and-comer, I would think. There is Ken Frank. Take this fight on five days' notice. But let's send it uh, to the tail of the tape now, Rich. Let's All right, and it's, it. it's going to be an interesting tale. I'll tell you. <laughs> I will tell you that as we take a look, you see the difference in age, first of all, which is rather stark, and uh, they're both big guys. Uh, Andy Ruiz. 253 pounds. He's actually the little guy in this fight, which is the first time we've seen that. He's outweighed by 40 pounds by Ken Frank in the, uh, this one, and Frank with a considerable uh, reach advantage as well. Rules under which the bouts will be conducted tonight here in Arizona. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Fighter cannot be saved by the bell in the... Uh, in a, any round except the last round. Only the referee can stop the fight here in an accidental fight. We will go to the scorecards after three rounds are completed. All right, let's get it up now to our esteemed ring announcer, Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros from the Blue Water Resort and Casino Parker, Arizona. Esto es, this is Top Rank Live, being brought to you by, presentado por Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated in association with Showdown Promotions, Rey Alcorta and Tecate, patrocinador oficial. This is our opening bout of the evening set for six rounds in the heavyweight division. Este combate pactado a seis vueltas en la división peso completo. Los jueces son, the judges are Chris Flores, Gonzalo Valenzuela and Derek Sasueta. The referee, Richard Soto. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presentando la esquina azul. He steps in wearing the color brown, vestido de color café. Detuvo la báscula a un peso oficial de 293 libras. He dipped the scales at an official 293 pounds. With a professional record of six victories against three losses, one bout even, and two of his victories coming by way of knockout. Con seis victorias, tres derrotas, un empate, y dos de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. Fighting out of Lethbridge, Canada, Ken, one tough Indian friend. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in wearing the color red, vestido de color rojo. Su peso oficial, 253 libras, his official weight, 253 pounds. Invicto a nivel profesional, con 11 victorias. Siete de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. He enters the ring, an undefeated fighter, with 11 victories. Seven of his victories coming by way of knockout. El pre-olímpico mexicano de los Juegos 2008. He's a former member of the pre-Olympian Mexican team in 2008. Fighting out of Imperial Valley, California. Y puro Chicali, Baja California, Mexico. Andy Ruiz Jr. Gentlemen, you were given your instructions in the dressing area. I expect you to obey all my commands. Protect yourself at all times. This is okay. This is a little high. Watch yourself. Come out boxing. Go back to your corner. Thank you. Final instructions from your referee tonight for this heavyweight fight, Richard Soto. We are scheduled for six rounds. There is Andy Ruiz, 11-0 in his young career. And I was talking about when he made his debut, Rich, uh, he was 300 pounds, so he's been really working that battle against the weight and comes in at a svelte 252 tonight. Well, he's, he's, he seems to come down a little bit with every, with every fight, so he has been serious about his weight loss. Tonight, he fights a guy that is bigger than him. He, we're usually uh, watching him fight guys that are much smaller than he is, but Ruiz, you will see, if you haven't seen him before, while he isn't chiseled and he uh, fights flat-footed, he is very quick-handed. I think he has two of the fastest hands in the heavyweight division, and people are shocked by his speed. See him going to the body right there, working on Ken Franks. Ken Franks is a correctional officer up in Alberta. So he's got a tough job away from here. Took this fight on five days' notice, and give him credit, he's here. And yeah, well, it's like he said, you know, I had a choice. Sure, it was five days' notice, but it was either 
spend the night in jail with a bunch of prisoners <laughs> or go out on the river and <laughs> hang out in, in Arizona on a beautiful wow. night. Wow, up top. Ruiz really showing some speed there, Rich. That's Frank trying to box him, trying to use his own jab, but Ruiz trying to get by that jab and then unload with that speed of hand that he has. Andy Ruiz uh, is a very uh, intriguing prospect, I would say, Alan. He's a, he's a kid who, f who fights very well. He's got good power, although he's finding the guys a little harder to knock out than he did earlier in his career. There's that speed of hand. Look how quick he unloads those punches. Eight punch combination upstairs. Ken Frank said he was going to try to box this kid, but unless you've got a really, really hard jab, which Ken doesn't have, uh, Andy's going to get on top of you and fast. And as Rich was saying, you just saw the witness of the speed. And there's a lot behind that speed, too, when you're talking about 300, 254 pounds behind him. He's working with Miguel Diaz in the, in the corner tonight. He has worked a lot with Freddie Roach at the wild card gym, but now he's working out in, in training in Las Vegas and getting a little bit more concentrated training with uh, Miguel Diaz, although he has not cut connection with uh, Freddie Roach. But Freddie's a little busy these, these days yeah. with some rather big name stars. Well, he has the mantle right now of trying to become the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. He has trained with a young fighter who was trying to do that as a Mexican heritage. Oh, there's the upstairs slapping around right there. The hook's coming fast and furious. I was going to say he sparred with Chris Ariola out of Riverside, and he's also been in the ring in L.A. with Evander Holyfield, which could teach him a thing or two. But i tell you what. He's, he's head hunting, Rich. Well, one thing that he does is he takes his opponents by surprise. As he put it today, and these are his words, guys look over at him from the other corner and they see this chubby guy who they just feel obviously is going to be a slow, chubby guy. And he goes, they're shocked by what comes at them. Great. Closing out the first round of a heavyweight fight tonight. We'll be right back for Parker Arizona. <laughs> Right as we were breaking for commercial, this came right as the bell, and, or actually after, after the, the bell. bell, had sounded. That left hook by Ruiz flooring Ken Frank. We talked to the referee between rounds, Allen. He said it was no knockdown, but he did not deduct any points from Ruiz. Feeling it was an Bang. accidental blow. I mean, it was about a half a second after the Punch bell when it happened, up. and it was a left hook. And one tough Indian. He's going to have one tough time Box. going six with he wore <laughs> Ruiz. His, he wore his one tough Indian uh, shirt into the ring tonight. He says he's got that uh, boxing gear line, one tough Indian boxing gear. He's still trying to fire that jab out there, but Ruiz is handy. He's been having a good time coming over the top of it. Well, he, he did say, uh, Frank, that, you know, I've seen the kid fight. He's really got a lot of skill and he's fast of hand. He goes, I'm just going to, he goes, I'm not going to walk into that. He goes, I'm not going to sit there and exchange with him. I'm going to try to keep him away. I'm going to try to box him. Andy doing a good job at times going to the body, which I think would be a, although he's got a rather thick body to go through right there, but he can slow Frank down and bring his hands down if he does that and get the knockout he's anticipating tonight, I'm sure. He mentioned something to him today that his knockouts have started out, they're not coming as, as quickly as, as they were early on when he first started, which hasn't been that long ago, but he's had to get some extra work in. He's scheduled for six here. He said he'd like to get down to about 245. It'd be a good uh, fighting weight for him. So that's not that much further for him to him to go. He's never going to be a chiseled heavyweight. It's just not the body type to even think about that. But he's, he says he's running four miles in the morning and doing his sprints at four miles. Man, that's a like a truck going down the road for four miles. And Frank stuck his head in right there. He's paying the price. Left hand, right hand, up against the ropes, digging to the body. Right. The prison guard is staggered right now, Rich. He's staggered. He took a lot of punishment there. He doesn't have a lot of an answer right here. No, he's Ruiz trying, knows it. He's just trying to keep him off with his long left, but that's just not working. No. He's just getting pounded now. Soto looking in, the referee. I think Frank's is just, uh, the culmination's just going to fall right over. Th the towel's been tossed by the corner, yeah, and, and they're going to wave it off. And Frank spit out his mouthpiece, so that was enough. Andy Ruiz with a, another victory on the way up. Very impressive youngster. 
not fighting what you'd call strong competition yet, but let's face it, the heavyweight division, there's a dearth of talent right now. There's a, a real scarcity of a strong competition. He can step it up, I believe. He's, he's getting more skillful every fight. And he's really got, this is the speed of hand I told you about. This kid has got tremendously fast hands for a heavyweight at 252 or whatever. I mean, he, he can really fire a lot of punches. He fires with a lot of power. Now, this is the beginning of the end, basically, as Frank got caught in this corner up against the ropes. And I think at any time, the fight could have been stopped here. And of course, uh, you know, it's up to Andy Ruiz to just keep punching until it is. And finally, the towel came in. Frank uh, spit out his mouthpiece. The referee stopped the fight, and that was it. Andy, a little bit sloppy here at the end, but I think that's partially because of the way that uh, Frank was presenting himself and hanging <laughs> on him, and uh, and uh, that, that was the end of it. And another good, impressive victory for Andy Ruiz, who I think is a very intriguing p possibility in the heavyweight ranks. Well, he just, uh, you confirmed everything by what we saw, talking about his hand speed right there. That, that last flurry was actually over the first one that you had there, Rich, because we saw the uh, one tough Indian standing there. Ken Franks was standing there just wobbly on his knees, and Ruiz sensed it and came in. And it wasn't a one-punch thing. It was a swarm of punches right here in Parker, Arizona. Time to send it up for the official word from Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, an accumulation of blows obligates referee Richard Soto to call a halt to the action with an official time of 1 minute 53 seconds of round number two. Damas y caballeros, una acumulación de golpes obliga al referee Richard Soto a parar la contienda con un tiempo oficial de 1 minuto 53 segundos del segundo asalto. El vencedor por knockout técnico, your winner, by way of technical knockout, Andy Ruiz. Junior. Well, another one down, 12 and 0 for Andrew Ruiz as he's trying to keep building up that record. We will be right back. I'm not a means to go in the live action tonight. And there you see, let's take a look at what happened with Mike Ruiz, hoping to become the first ever Mexican heavyweight champion tonight, taking on Ken Frank. Well, Ken Frank came out here uh, with no real illusions. He was excited about being able to actually get into the ring with this youngster, though, and he, to the point where he wore a tie to the weigh-in yesterday. There you see that left hook that deck Frank at the end of the first round. And then Ruiz unloading that basically unreal hand speed that he has for a 253 pounder and just giving Frank just too much in the world terms of speed and power and now wailing away at the body and finally the towel came in and the fight Your was winner. stopped at that By point there's Andy Ruiz knockout. I think has a big Andy. future in front of him Ruiz. yeah because of the speed Rich Junior. you talked about the dearth of 